Hello everyone and welcome! In this video we're going to be checking out how the LS7 used in the Camaro Z28 and the LT4 used in the Corvette Z06 are made. These engines are built in the Performance Build Center in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Now each engine that's built is assembled entirely by one person from start to finish. So the builder will have his own uh, build manifest sheet for each engine and this will include a code for that specific engine. It also has a barcode scanner which tells the tools exactly what torque to use. The build is broke up into stations with a sheet identifying what's done at each station. And these barcodes on the sheet will set the electronic torque gun to the correct torque and have different fastening parameters like speed, angle, so it all starts with the engine block, which is mounted to a cart so that it can then move from station to station. The block is wiped down. And then the crankshaft. Related components. and the pistons are installed. Next, the single camshaft will be installed. Next, the oil pan is installed, and this is actually a dry sump system on the LT4 shown here. This machine lays down a bead to seal the pan against the block. So there's only one job classification in the PVC, and it's everything. Uh, they'll build one week, they'll kit the next week, they might be in test the week after that. It's a constant rotating to keep them fresh with all the, the different areas of it. Uh, but we kit all our own stuff up in here and then, then deliver it to the line also. How y'all doing All right. All right. You got a cool job today. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Is this your first one of the day? Yes. First one. Next, the oil pump, front cover, and rear seal housing are installed. Dowels are punched in the block. And then the head gasket is laid on top. Next, the cylinder head is installed. So this is one of the major, major reasons why we're able to get the power we do out of the LS7. It's breathing, being able to pull air in and push it out easily. Uh, large titanium intake valves. It's also got sodium filled exhaust valves to dissipate the heat. So not a cheap item right there. Now, once each of the bolts are in place, they're all simultaneously tightened. So it's, all, it's torquing all these bolts to a, uh, a torque plus an angle to ensure a more consistent clamp load than just a straight torque. So it's doing 30 newton meters and then it's turning at precisely 160 degrees for the final, final clamp load. 
Next, the rockers and push rods are put in. So we're starting to button it up at this point, putting on the water pump, the dampener, the uh, valve covers. Not quite as exciting when nobody's in the stage. Then the intake manifold and throttle body are installed. In the case of the LT4 engine for the Z06, the supercharger is installed here and this also includes integrated intercoolers with water to air cooling. Then the spark plugs are installed and it's off to the leak test. The leak test, we, we close off all the orifices that we know are going to leak basically. And what we're doing is we're checking the crank tanks, front and rear seals, oil pan, uh, intake manifold. We pressurize it to two psi, two and a quarter psi, and we do a leak down of how much that pressure drops, and that'll tell us if the leak is there. We also pressurize the cooling cavity, so the water pump, the heads, the water jacket in the block. We pressurize it to 20 psi, because that's about the pressure in the coolant, uh, you know, part of the, the system. Um, make sure it's not leaking as well. So we watch the the pressure decrease uh, over time, measure a leak rate, and if we have a leaker, then we sit in the station and we basically snoop it with soap, soap, soapy water and find where the leak is and correct it. Damper bolt is the highest source on the line. It's actually 80 newton meters plus 200 degrees. It's up around 3, 350 newton meters. When did you get the service? Get a big long bar. <laughs> Each engine is then given the stamp of approval by the individual engine builder. So these are the parts that I told you changed to the Z28 Camaro. They now have a pretty slick tri wide tubular, like a mini header almost. And some of the final components to be installed, the exhaust manifold as well as the clutch. The engine is then weighed and then it is ready for cold testing. We, we call it cold test because we're not actually firing the engine, but we can test all the functions of the engine without firing it with all the sensors I have in there. These probes you see sticking out in the middle, attached to the spark plugs. With these, I can detect whether the ceramic around the electrode is cracked or not, and I can also tell what the gap is on the spark plug. This on the front hooks up to the intake of the engine or the throttle body. This actually is a transducer that I can, I can tell how much vacuum is being pulled by the engine. And again, I can tell whether the, the intake valves are actuating properly and if all the timing is correct for those valves. Um, you see the, the big gripper behind it? This is what we actually grab a bolt and flex plate or plywood with and spin the motor through this entire test. In between it and the electric motor, I have a torque transducer, which gives me a torque curve. And this isn't a torque curve of how much the engine produces, this is a turning torque to make sure that the compression is right in all, all the cylinders and that there's no leakage by the valves or by the rings or anything like that. There's also accelerometers that we mount to each one of the heads and to the block. This measures noise and vibration. And of course, we hook up to all, to all the sensors to make sure all the sensors are functioning correctly, the engine's timed correctly. Uh, just basically, we also actuate a lot of stuff. After cold testing, the engines, which will be used with manual transmissions, which have the flywheel, will be balanced. And weights can be added to the flywheel or dampener if they need to adjust the balancing. The engine is then filled with Mobile One oil. And this filling is done based on weight. The engines then go a final inspection and then they can be sent out for hot testing or installed in the assembly. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below.